had a normal life, um, played football, had all of his friends. He did everything a normal 18 year old would do. And now it's different. A Mamu family with an emotional warning about the dangers of texting and driving. Now that crash four years ago changed their lives forever. Now a mother is using her son's experience as a cautionary tale for others as they all work to regain a sense of normalcy. Now 23, Alex Monier's life is not what anyone expected. One text in one minute and now here we are four years later and he's still struggling for some sort of normalcy. Answering that text message caused Alex to crash his vehicle. Suffering a brain injury, doctors told Chastity that her son would never regain consciousness. He did, but today, the life he knew before is long gone. I do everything for him. I help him with his bath and dressing. Um, there's uh, some routines that we do every day as far as stretching and exercise just to keep his joints moving and everything. We don't want him to get stiff. Um, I have to help him with brushing his teeth, everything, and he is tube fed, so I do help him with that as well. While Chastity and Alex work to raise awareness about the dangers of texting and driving, they're also working on something else. How hyperbaric oxygen chamber treatments can help someone with a brain injury. Since Alex has started the treatment, I've noticed um, that he's more alert, which he wasn't before. He's actually started to wiggle his toes and move his right leg, which is tremendous because he hasn't done that in four years. While Alex is having success with these treatments, it's not FDA approved for traumatic brain injury. That means it's not covered by Chastity's insurance. When you're looking at the treatments, they recommend 70 dives, which is the hyperbaric oxygen treatment, and that can be up to $14,000, so it's very expensive. But for them, it's worth it. He's been leaning forward and sitting back without help, which is also tremendous. He has not done that in four years since the accident. So there's hope there. And with that hope, Chastity says she's looking forward to a better future for her son. Now, there will be a benefit for brain injury survivors in Mamu at the Recreational Center. It's happening this Saturday. It'll start at 8 a.m. with a color run and many other events to follow. Now, you can head to their Facebook page, Brain Injury Survivor Benefit, for more information. Wow.